You know, viewers, I was thinking yesterday, and since I'm talking about it, I guess I'm also thinking about it right now, why do controllers these days have built-in rumble? Think of the concept, which was introduced with Nintendo's Rumble Pack in 1997. On paper, it's meant to immerse people in the experience. But now it just seems like an industry standard to include in the controller, which probably justifies adding a few bucks to the price tag. What's more, all games support it, and pretty much all games have Rumble on as the default. I was thinking maybe it's a little agreement the controller manufacturers have with battery companies, but then I remembered that a good portion of gamers use rechargeable battery packs, and the PS3 controller doesn't require batteries out of the box. So is it yet another example of humanity sticking with traditions simply because they are well-established traditions? I turned off the rumble earlier today and found myself unaware of its absence, so how about that? On the other hand, no one cares. Let's get to the video. <laughs> Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's October 20, the 293rd day of 2011, which means that 44 years ago today, the famous Patterson film was taken, depicting a purported encounter with Bigfoot. Everyone's seen that one, right? It's the one where they're eating some beef jerky, and then they find Bigfoot sleeping, and so they stick his hand into a pot of warm water, and then he pees right into one of their faces. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a Jack Link's commercial. By the way, mysteriously running into Sasquatch so that you can quote-unquote mess with him doesn't work unless it's Jack Link's jerky. I tried Slim Jim once and all I saw was a stupid La Chupacabra. What's interesting to me is that people still debate Bigfoot's existence, when the Jack Link's people have been filming him for like years now. Sasquatch has got his own trailer for crying out loud. He may even have his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. His debut indie film, however, characterized by its artful use of shaky cam and insufficient focus, has become known as the Patterson Film. It's pretty much the most famous piece of big footage ever taken, so you've probably seen it. Nowadays, however, Bigfoot is filmed on high-definition cameras and is thereby in need of a more convincing costume. Apparently the one from the Patterson film had this gigantic zipper on the front, a technical discrepancy that they weren't expecting, but they didn't have sufficient funds or enough time, so they just filmed Bigfoot walking away. Bigfoot, even though he obviously exists, is on the astoundingly extensive list of cryptids, creatures whose existence have been suggested but not scientifically confirmed. He's on there with his lesser buddies, like the Loch Ness Monster, the Jackalope, and Mothman. You seriously need to check out this list of cryptids on Wikipedia, guys. It is simply ridiculous the things that people will believe. I mean, lizard people is on here. <laughs> lizard people, that's not even creative. We can do better than that, don't you think, butt kickers? I want to hear some ideas in the comment section about cryptids that you've made up. I mean, witnessed. Creatures that you have definitely witnessed, and tarnation taint nobody gonna convince you otherwise. Even better, sketch me your cryptid and send it to itstheprogram at gmail.com. And even better than that, if you got some footage of this rare and wonderful blind spot in the survey of science, then you should send that footage to it's the program at gmail.com. I'd love to see what you got, butt kickers, and remember, the truth is out there. Until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking.